hello everyone thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video oh boy today is going to be a cookie a cooking a cooking and cooking cooking day all this dish i prepared one day oh my goodness you have to see everything here is looking very yummy i can't just start measuring the names of the dishes that i prepare but you just have to stay tuned and see all of them you have to see how i got all these things ready thank you so much for tuning in i so much appreciate please stay as long as you can let's do this cooking together but before then let us take the intro and get ready for this video <laughs> Welcome back. So let us start with our fine gear. You know, whenever you're making batch cooking, if you are going to grill whole chicken, start with that first. It will help you. It will marinate and, you know, get all those ingredients infused in them before you grill them. So I'm starting with this fine gear. This is what that fine gear, this chicken. <laughs> I am rubbing all over them lemon. You can use lime as well. Use it to clean and clean bath the baby so that it will be looking a eh, very nice so that's what i'm going to do here it's very very uh, nice when you do it like this yeah so after rubbing it i'll go ahead and wash them i'll wash them off camera and bring them back in the pot here i'll be adding one tablespoon of salt uh, sugar half tablespoon of salt black pepper and onion pour them inside the pot and dump in the chicken in there yeah allow it to marinate for six hours yes i allowed mine to marinate for six hours i'll just cover it and set it aside and dive into the other part of it so whenever i'm making batch cooking to make it easy blend all the onions and peppers that you will be needing for the marinating and the cooking i'll just go ahead and cut the onions i'm using one big purple onion look at them here i've blended all of them and they are very spicy when i mean spicy it is very spicy let's start with the beef for cooking of this stew i'll be using the spices here seasoning cubes curry no, rosemary thyme and salt i just add it into the beef meat and also pour in the spices or the mixture that are blended cover it and set it aside i'll be using this fish i grilled it off camera for the soup and this is stock fish that i'll be using as well here are the meats the turkey i just grilled it separately i use the stock the one for stew and the one for soup all the meats are ready i've marinated them i cover it for some times and i let them to get marinated here they are already started cooking and allow them to steam for five minutes before adding water. So the cooking have just started. So for this stew, I'll be using this uh, tomato. I'm using four, uh, three of them. I'll just pour them inside the pot and also I will open the thin tomato that is the concentrated thin tomato. So if you want to use this thin tomato, use three and one uh, concentrated tomato. It will be very good or the consistency will be very nice. I will just go ahead and give them a quick mix and put that pepper. I just cut them so that the flavor will be entering. I use the tin tomato as a measurement for the oil that I'm using to fry cook it. I'm not going to fry it the normal, you know, the normal stew frying. Pour that oil, cover the pot and put it on the stove to start frying and cooking on a low heat. So these are the stock that I've gotten from the turkey and the uh, beef. The chicken is now ready after six hours. Yes, I did it the night before, please. Yeah, that is when I did it. Early more, more like that. So the chicken have absorbed all the black pepper, onion, salt, and sugar. I'll just allow it here to rest. Here are what I'm going to use in paprika, salt, and seasoning stock. These are the pepper, the blanch, uh, mixture that I made. And this is the butter. I'm not going to add much thing or to, you know, to bath or to decorate the chicken. I'm not going to add much. I'm just using little because later 
I will have a special sauce to eat them. So if you want to add more spices, you are free to do that. So this butter is very important because it will help the chicken to be so moisture when you are grilling them. So I will do the whole mixture together and use it to marinate the chicken. So here I'm just making sure that all those ingredients that I miss with the butter, just use your hand, lift up the skin little by little. If you do it so fast or, you know, with force, the skin will just tear. It happened to me here, but not really much. So I'm just trying to lift up the skin and pouring the butter and the ingredients in there so that when, it, <laughs> did you see that? It just teared. When the heat is on it, they will start melting and be entering very well inside the skin of the chicken that is what i'm trying to uh, you know to get here So after that, I'm just going ahead to tie the leg. You know, I said, fine gear, you have to sit where? Eh? You have to cross your leg where? <laughs> after tying them so well like this, look at it. Everything is making poco poco. They are good to go to the oven. So underneath there, I'll add some veggies and drop it in there. Cover the leg because if you don't cover it, before the chicken will cook very well, the hands, all of them will fall out and they will look so shrimp. So we don't want that. I'll just go ahead and cover them very well and set them to the oven. So this is the first stage of the stew. You just have to allow this to do its work on its own. Don't rush it. Gently be cooking it and do other things. You just how this stew is looking now. And it have not finished cook frying. I call this style cook frying. <laughs> Yeah, I will cover it and allow it to continue its work because the oil on it have not started looking like, you know, that oil. N right now, I have allowed it to cook more than 10 minutes again. I have reduced the oil. You reduce the oil because you don't want to be eating oil. You just need it to fry it. So I'll add in some stock and allow it to continue cooking frying what do you call this style if you are here just let me know what you call this type of a stew yes Yeah, here in the oven, look at all our proteins. They are baking the beef, the turkey, the chicken. Oh boy, make use of light very well. All of them must enter and they were cooking very nice. So everything is there cooking nice. The meat is now, okay, I'm going to be putting it inside the stew and the matter of stew is gone. <laughs> Meaning that we have finished cooking the stew. Set it aside. There is a lot to prepare today. And let us dive into other video the turkey is also very did i say video to another cooking the turkey is well gray i will just set it aside you know kids sometimes they like turkey yeah it's ready once you bring it out of the pan put it on a on a rank so that it doesn't shrimp and here is the colors uh bell pepper colors that i'll be using for the fried rice i will cut them off camera if not we are not going to go here today set it aside and here i also have the okra okra soup whenever I'm making batch cooking okra must be there Yes, who doesn't like okra? And look at how fresh it is. I'll also be cutting it off uh, 
camera. Let's just set it aside. And here is the chicken. The first stage has finished here, grilling. I'm just going to bring out all those vegetables that are inside. I'll put it in a in a blender, blend them and add some spices. And that is the gravings that we are going to use for this uh, chicken. It is not yet cooked yet. Yeah, it's not yet uh, the way I want it. I don't want to be crunchy, but the inside is not yet uh, done. So I'm going to bring them out and take it back in the oven to continue grilling. So here they are, they are ready. I'll just go ahead and blend them and set them aside. So the stock, I have put them in the fire. I am, I'm pouring in rice now, the parboil or wash rice. I'm using basmati rice, four cup of it. We are going to use it for the fried rice and the fried jollof rice. Yeah, this uh, rice that I'm making, I'm making it in two ways. See, when it's cooked at least now for like 95%, I'll just take it out. I'll be making fried rice just with veggies and I'll make another fried rice with uh, the stew. So here I have the oil already in the uh, pot. And this oil that I'm using is the oil that I got from the stew. That is what I'm going to use to cook this soup. Have you tried it before? Oil from the stew, you will really like it. So I have fried iru and onions to activate the flavor. You know now you have to activate that flavor. Now I'm pouring in some uh, sweet pepper that I blended. That is just sweet pepper, garlic and ginger as well. I will just give them a stir and allow them to fry. Yeah, this is how it will be looking before you add other ingredients there. Now I'll be adding in the mushroom. I'm not adding all of them. This soup was very nice. Mushroom okra. Hey, try it. Try it. You will really like it. So give it a stir. Don't allow it to cook much. I will add not all of the okra. I'm just adding half part of it. Fry it a little as well. Right now, I'll add the remaining okra, and by this time, the light is very low. We don't want this okra to be you no know, cook that much. Mm -mm. We want to eat them fresh and crunchy, little cr 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 crunchy. <laughs> All right, are you still here? Let me hear you say yes. Of course, yes, did there. All right, I'm going to pour in little stock. We don't want much stock here. We want to be finger licking this okra this okra soup is called finger licking one yeah we don't want much water in you can even have it as a meal yes that is why this okra is being prepared like this All right, the proteins are going in. Remember, we have cooked this uh, meat before. Yeah, I added that mackerel, the fish, the pomo, the shaki, the meat, the crayfish. Add salt, yeah, and stir them, stir them, stir them, stir them to well, well combined. So next is the spinach, add spinach, any vegetable of your choice, cover it a little to release the moisture and then you gently stir it. Omo, 
see my pot is filled up <laughs> as i am editing this video i feel like eh, licking the cream you want to lick the cream <laughs> Oh my goodness, I enjoy this cooking. Yeah, I enjoy doing all this thing. One day, I felt like a superwoman that day. Yes, now when you are cooking it, you feel like a superwoman. And when you are done, <laughs> you will know that now they are <laughs> You work. When I mean you work, you work really hard. And you know what it means? If you are a content creator, you are filming cooking. You know now, you know what, you know what it takes. So this was very nice. Yeah. Look at the soup. Try this soup. You will like it. Okra soup like this. You will definitely enjoy it. Looking in the screen, you'll be seeing the, uh, at the screen, sorry, you'll be seeing those iru, those green okra. Yeah. I'm not even talking about the mede mede that is there, but those okra that is sliming so beautiful like that. And that is it. This okra soup is as good as ready. At this time, I have already reduce the light yes as i said before i reduce it because it doesn't need to cook much allow it to cook like two minutes and that is it also now we are ready for the afam soup yeah these are the ingredients that i'm going to use the beef meat the beef is there so now i'll add the stock in the pot and pour in oil yeah you can pour much oil but if you know me eh, i don't like much oil i don't like it so i add the one that i can if I need more color, maybe I can add bell pepper or sweet pepper to, you know, pop up the color. I add the stock fish, the crayfish, the bonga fish. Hey, imagine this step. Allow it to boil very well. Now, add your vegetable. I'm adding spinach. If you don't have water leaf where you are staying, you can use spinach as a substitute. It works very nice. So I will cover it and allow it to cook i didn't blanch it so i'm going to allow it to cook very well inside there and this is okazi this okazi is not fresh one it's slightly dried so what i did i used hot water to soak it it, it became softer then I'm blending it with my hand machine. Normally, I pan it with mortar, but my mortar is very small and it won't do much justice to this here. So I'm going to use the hand blender and blend it. Now, the the, the soup needs oil more, so I'm going to add the remaining ones here. And that is it too. Oh. I didn't add much again. I will stir it and allow it to cook a little again before I will add the other ingredients. So it's time to add your kazi. The more you are cooking this thing, the more it is releasing its flavor, its color, and it's very good. At the point, reduce the light and allow it to gently cook. Gently release those flavor. Gently taking in and bring it out and everything will be in the pot again. So this time I'm going to add the meat, bomo, shake, everything. Remember, stock fish and fishes, everything have already entered there. Stir it very well and cover. <laughs> Another one. Another very interesting, delicious finger licking soup. Yes, this is getting ready. So I'll just stir it very well. And it is good to go because this soup is already done. Just allow it to steam there and it's ready. It is done or the soup is ready you know when you are cooking and the flame is everywhere it is because you are cooking <laughs> you understand that saying so it is very very much ready now i will just say uh, clear it up and get ready for the next so the next is meat pie yes meat pie is one of nigeria popular snacks if you are making bunch cooking you have to keep meat pie as well so i'm going to start with the beef
So to the meat, I've already added the, the chopped potato. I will go ahead and add the seasoning skill, uh, cubes and salt. Stir them. You know, to make meat pie, you have to make the filling to be, you know, hmm, very yummy. When you're eating it, you're feeling the vibe. <laughs> you don't allow anything to keep the, kill the vibe of this meat pie. Add everything that will make it to be very delicious. Over salt, no. Over maggi, no. Over running, running, no. Over too thick, no. <laughs> so last, last, I'm going to add water and cover it. Now, next is the fish. I also made fish that day. So I'll be using paprika, salt, and seasoning stock. Mix it with the pepper mixture that I blended earlier and use it and, uh, you know, marinate it very well. So you just have to be careful with this <laughs> because it's pepper is very hot you don't want to tell how it happened don't tell the story it's not always good to tell the story how it happened <laughs> so i'll just foil them up and you know take it aside it will go into the oven now for the fryings of the rice let's start first of all with the gizzard and you know i cooked the rice earlier set it aside you know set it aside to be getting cold so now I'll fry the gizzard and, you know, the remaining ingredients for the preparation of the fried rice. I'll just fry them. Let's continue washing. The popping color that this fried rice is giving me now eh? oh my goodness imagine how vibrant the color of those veggies are and they are now hey i feel like eating them without the fried rice yeah so this is how your fried like uh, fried rice or small lice i'm not from there <laughs> i beg you people should not come for me oh. <laughs> this is how you should be looking now i've poured in the rice and gently fry it that small small uh, stick was not doing anything, so I have to bring the abara, the big one, and stir it very nicely to combine, and then allow it to do the frying. If you are, if you want to have this a uh, perfect fried rice, allow it to fry. Yes, you have to allow it to do the frying. If you didn't fry, it's not fried rice. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. And with this pan, it's doing the work perfectly. Yeah. So this is as good as ready i'm going to fry the next so the next one is fried rice as well after frying it but the difference is that i poured in stew in it hey another concussion this combination was everything so i covered it is jello fried rice now let us make the pie to the pie i have one kg of flour one sachet of uh, uh, 
baking powder, salt, and the nutmeg. Mix it, put butter in it, and then form the dough. Making meat pie easy is always the easy way you can run out of the kitchen. So to make it very easy, you have to mold them just like this after you have finished. Like that, you know how many you are working with. So after that, I will just go ahead. I will do one, yeah, because uh, I don't. This is not a tutorial of meat pie. It's a bunch cooking. So everything you want to do, you don't throw all of them. <laughs> I'll just do one, and we are almost getting there. Okay. Thank you so much if you are still here. I truly appreciate. And if you are watching up to this time, you have not subscribed. Nah, nah. What are you still waiting for? Please hit that subscription button. Give me a thumbs up and turn up the notification bell sign. There you always receive my yummy notification. Yes, here we do it all. We bring it lunch, dinner, different type of thing. Even Spanish food, I bring it here because I stay in a Spanish country. Thank you so much. So meat pie is ready. Everything is in the oven. Now it's salad. Salad must be there, please. Even though it is little, try to make salad. I have lettuce, I have onions, I have cucumber and tomatoes. I added a little salt. I'll be adding olive oil. Olive oil is eh, very good when you're making your salad. I'll just go ahead and stir them. These, I'm going to put them around the fish. If anybody wants salad, you can just take there. We have a lot here, so we don't want to make this type of one that is, you know, perishable that can perish one or two days no you don't make it much other ones i will save them very nicely because after all this cooking and i will not come and be entering kitchen throughout the week so we have lemon here lemon we need it in this so here are there ladies and gentlemen everything that your baby gear or masters prepared today look at them they are all ready Thank you so much if you are still here with me. I don't even know what to say, but just thank you. These are all the meal that I prep in a day. You see it? They are ready. Everything is ready. I'll just serve them, save some, and the, you know, save some and we'll eat the rest. Thank you so much. And that is how we come to the end of this video. See you in my next video and bye.